In about 250 BC, the Carthaginian general known as Hannibal the Barbarian, or Hannibal Barker, saw a great victory over Rome in one of his dreams. He woke up, marched over the Alps, and conquered Rome. Dreams are kind of weird stuff. Nobody really knows what they are or if they mean anything other than, who knows? Nobody really knows. There is some evidence that they're associated with learning, but there's no real scientific data on dreams. Some people put a lot of value on them. Others don't. I'm somewhere in the middle. Three days ago, I tested positive for that disease that we're all tired of hearing about. I'm just gonna call it Rona. I've been consorting with Rona for three days now. My symptoms are annoying, but minor. But one of the most prominent symptoms of this condition for me has been vivid dreams. Now, what's particularly interesting about these dreams is that if I wake up, which I tend to do during the night, you know, I'll wake up and then when I go back to sleep, generally speaking, when I dream, that dream is gone once you wake up. Now, over the last three nights, if I'm having a dream, I'll wake up and then when I go back to sleep, the same dream will begin again. And these dreams have been very vivid and so abstract and absurd they're a little bit difficult to even describe. One of the fortunate things about this affair that I'm having with Rona is after I tested positive, all of the members of my household tested negative. And I have this great big old room that in New York would be considered an apartment. So I've been isolating here and you know, everything is okay. You know, I, I feel a little bit better today. I think I'm beginning to recover. And last night, I had a dream that I can actually describe. And it was one of those dreams where I would go to sleep and I, I, sorry, I would wake up. And when I went back to sleep, the dream would begin again. And this was the dream that was about me taking a video. Okay, a little bit related to real world stuff there. And the video was set in a diner that looked like a railroad car. Oddly enough, I think I contracted this disease on a rare, in a railroad car on a trip from Chiang Mai back to Bangkok a few days ago, but that's just a guess. I have, uh, you know, railroad viruses, I suppose, and planting dreams in my brain. I'm just making that up. That's crazy. But I, I, you know, I had this dream where I was filming a video in a diner that looked like a railroad car. And the, there was a waiter singing opera and a bunch of other absurd, abstract notions like that went on and on in the dream. And I woke up saying, well, maybe I can actually use some of this dream energy into producing a real video. So that's what I'm about today. I'm gonna make an abstract dream video called Consorting with Rona. <laughs> One of the problems, uh, one of the issues of being a contagious disease spreader like me is that I can't call upon one of the several Thai cuties that are living in my household to come up here uh, to help me focus my camera. So I'm improvising. Being an improvisational kind of person, I'm using this lamp, which is about the same level as my head, to focus the camera on. I got it get a nice sharp focus. So uh, another problem that I have is this is to be a vivid dream image. And I'm thinking vivid means color. The only red shirt I have is this one and it's a t-shirt. I don't love doing this with a t-shirt, but I am going to take it. It being a photograph with the t-shirt on. I also have a, a green shirt that's a collared kind of golf shirt that I think looks a little bit better style-wise. Uh, and green is vivid too, so I'm gonna take a picture with both of them. Let's take some photographs. Well now, this'll be the second time in about two weeks that I found myself 
displaying my computer screen on a video. I guess I'm gonna learn how to do that the proper way, but for now, we're just gonna take a video of the screen and hope that that works. What I've done here is uh, I've taken uh, this image and superimposed this image, which is, uh, you can't even see it very well. That's why I need to learn how to do this a proper way, but it's, it's an image of, uh, to create drips. And I superimposed it on the image of me on a uh, pinkish kind of background to uh, contrast with my green shirt. As we could see, I went with the green shirt and, uh, you know, came up with that image displaying my, I don't know, crazy dreams kind of image. It was a fun afternoon. Now, it took me about four hours to figure out how to make that picture. I am not a Photoshop expert, at least not yet, but I'm getting better at it. It's taken me about two months of practice on Photoshop, and like I say, maybe three or four hours this afternoon learning how to do that. So I'm not going to bore you to death with the details of all of that. There are hundreds of tutorial videos on Photoshop on YouTube if you, if you are interested in that. And... Um, and yeah, that's what I came up with. Now, here's the fun part. An another vivid dream image that occurred with this one, uh, the uh, the opera singer in a diner image. I don't know what to call that image, but it's, uh, I know what it is. It's, 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 I, I do have a, a name for that. It's consorting with Rona. Also in the vivid dream images, I, there was a, a young, sexy girl wearing a tight mini skirt and a revealing blouse. This is in my dream. And she was saying in front of a crowd of admiring men that she had dressed that way as a feminist to pr protest exploitation. That was in my dream. I thought that was rather funny. Now, I have a little bit of difficulty making that happen here in Thailand because I have to find a woman that's A, willing to dress like that on video, and B, speaks pretty good English. I have A, B, and not so much. But, you know, you never know what might come up down the road, because I thought that was a pretty amusing image as well, worthy of some creative video stuff. So, anyway, that's the way I'm filling up my time this afternoon, sequestered in my sick room here, and I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> I'll see you soon.